living with chronic pain is an experience. And those words don't really mean much. Chronic pain. It's like, okay, I know what pain is, and chronic means a long time, so it's just pain for a long time. Anyways, I'm going to go on with my day now. That's kind of the mentality around it. The reality around it, though, is, oh, well, I woke up at five o'clock in the morning because it's so painful to sleep on either side or my back. So I get up and I roll my body around on the ground trying to find any kind of position that's comfortable that will alleviate any of the pain. And I stand up and I know that I need to cook food because if I don't eat food, I will waste away and die. So I stand up, my feet ache. They hurt so badly that I walk back and forth from the refrigerator to the counter to the cutting board, to the knife, not even really able to think about what it is that I'm doing because my feet hurt so bad. The joints in my feet hurt so bad. And I've just started the day. It's only 7 a.m. right now. So every morning is like this. Every day is like this, more or less. And I push through it and I power through it. And what else can you do? And some days it's just a bit too much. And when on those days when... I think to myself, oh, wow, can I really keep this up for another day, month, year, five, ten years? And uh, so much effort for basically zero reward because there aren't any good times in interspersed in the midst of it. It's just pain all day, every day. And it's very hard to understand that if you've not experienced it. Even I was experiencing it for more than a decade and didn't even realize that's what it was. That's how good I was at blocking out the pain. And um, it was only when I got to a point where I literally could not cook food for myself, could not work, could not take care of myself, could not function, could not walk, could not move my body, that I had to finally admit there might be something wrong with my body. And I started to realize this was due to a combination of things and not something that's easy to fix, not something that may even necessarily be able to be fixed, though I hope that it will be someday. Um, and I've just had to accept the fact that, okay, every single day is like this. Not that it's going to be like this forever, but it's been like this for now 15 years or so. My feet really, really hurt, so much so that I can't think. So I decided to sit down and just take a rest. Food is on the stove. The vegetables are out waiting to be cut and I know that when I grip that knife that all my joints and knuckles will be really tensed up and in pain and I try to relax and I try to breathe and do everything all the different strategies I can think of to try and make it better nothing makes it better though so that's kind of what it's like and I'm just sitting here uh, blowing off a little steam, you know, because when I think in my mind that there are people out there who can wake up and make food or wake up and get ready for work or wake up and take care of their kids and wake up and do all the annoying or fun or in between things that we do as humans without really even thinking about it, without really... And we get focused so much on emotional problems and interrelational, interpersonal problems and social issues and mental stuff that we think about and all these things which seem so um, gripping and so frustrating and in reality if you have a body that works you're way ahead of the game you know you're doing great if you have a body that actually works and you don't feel pain all the time in your body that is debilitating that prevents you from living your life you're doing so well but me telling you that is not going to help at all because when you have that, you take it completely for granted. And then your emotional problems and your mental problems are larger than life. And the stress of that promotion at work or that you know, issue you're having with your spouse, it's just all encompassing, you know? So that it's always like that, it's all relative. Um, if I had a totally able body, whatever, like, yeah, I might have other problems that were more pressing. But, you know, what I would give to be able to not have to think about and worry about the position of my body and my joints um, in space at all moments of the day. And doing that all day long is not even enough for me to keep myself alive. Uh, I can't even survive. 
uh, because it's so actually so painful. <laughs> it's really a trip. And like in that sense, what choice do I have besides to say, hey, you know what? I give up. There's nothing I can do about this because it's not a fight. This is not like, um, you know, when people get diagnosed with cancer, some people fight it, some people accept it, some people, there's different ways of approaching. But this is not a fight. I'm not gonna fight my body and win, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing I can do. Any fighting that I do is just gonna make it worse. All I can do is just accept the situation as it is. It's like, ex actually to fully accept the fact, which I still, I guess I'm not there yet. Like, I'm actually really fully disabled right now and by that, I mean, I'm not able to provide for myself. Um, and rely on other people to survive. And even just that is a hard thing mentally to accept because you don't know if it's gonna be forever. Could I, could I actually mentally accept that if I had to be dependent on other people forever in that way? I don't know that I could, you know, some people might in that situation just say, you know what, I'm not going to be a burden. Um, and that's that whole argument that societally we have with ability and disability and eugenics and all these different ways in which we survival of the fittest and, you know, all these different mental models that we use. And I don't think that that's, I mean, I think we're kind of evolving into a way where we take care of each other as best as we can, or at least that's the altruistic sensibility. Um, and just given the situation I'm in, obviously I'd be in favor of that. Um, if I want to be able to live and, and the problem is, is that with the chronic pain there is, and I realize I've been talking and talking without any breaths and that's fine with the chronic pain. There is such a low quality of life. You know, I'm in my thirties. I've faced those decisions that you would imagine facing sort of more at the end of life. It's like, is my quality of life high enough that it's actually worth living? And it becomes such a rational decision. It's not, you know, if, you, if you're being emotional, it's like, yeah, I mean, of course I want to be here. And of course there's a lot of emotions around it. But the fact that in order to continue surviving, I have to suppress all of the emotion and all of the bodily pain. And I know that's counterintuitive. And I know that it's actually through feeling those things that we can actually heal those things. And also there, sometimes we have issues that are on, a, that become concretized physically in our bodies that are not so easily fixed or moved. And um, sometimes we're beyond hope. You know, you don't, you, we, we never want to believe that about ourselves, right? I don't want to believe that about myself. There's always hope. Um, but if that's the case, well, why is there such a word as hopeless? <laughs> why is there, why does that even exist? If it, if it doesn't apply to me, you know, it doesn't apply to whoever you are, it doesn't apply to you. It's just someone else. <laughs> Someone else is in that intractable situation. Um, but if you're like, if you're a physician, right, you would know this, like all the patients that come to you and they're actually just emotionally disturbed and they're sad or they're whatever they need attention. And then all the ones that come to you that are beyond saving. And that's a reality too, you know, it's like, those are both true. So anyway. I know I'm just looking at the food that I need to be cooking right now. It's 7:11 a.m. and I'll get through it. I'll be fine. You know, my feet will hurt. I'll block it out because if I feel it all, then there's not going to be food happening. There's not going to be eating happening. There's not going to be my weight will start to drop. I'll start getting sick. It's that's how that goes. Um, and honestly, to to a certain extent, like that's I welcome that, and it's only because of the off chance that I might be able to live a life because I haven't really been living a life for 15 years or more. Um, ju it's just on that off chance that there might be some change in perspective or some opening or some new miracle that might improve the situation that I'm in. It's the off chance. Um, so I stick around for that. All the rest of it be, uh, being around for the people in my life, that's just gravy on top. You know, the fact that I even have family and friends and loved ones and a child that would love to have me around, that's just gravy on top. You know, if I can't actually survive with a quality of life that is tolerable in terms of my pain levels moment to moment, all the rest of that doesn't even matter. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that all I can do is focus on, is there any way for me to get out of the situation that I'm in or to accept the situation that I'm in and work with it somehow? Um, but that, the pain signals, the, it's communication that's trying to tell us something. Um, and I've been listening and listening and listening and listening. And all I'm hearing so far is you are absolutely way out of your depth and you're in trouble. <laughs> And keep looking for help because hopefully you'll find some. Um, not, I'm not seeing a way of getting out of this on my own. By out of this, I mean regaining physical health. Uh, so, yeah. So anyway, looking forward to another day of just moving my body around to avoid or distract from the pain. Because believe me, I've tried just lying and wallowing it. That, that actually makes it even worse um, to a certain extent. There has to be a balance there. Oof. Someday, though, we'll find that place of rest, whether it's while we're alive, hopefully, um, or after we die. So on that note... <laughs>